Hey everybody! Um, so I wanted to um, talk a little bit about primers. Um, I uh, got the um, I got a package in the mail with the Monistat chafing gel, and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to take out all my primers and talk about them, and let you, you know. Of course, you'll decide your own personal preference. Um, if my voice sounds a little bit different today, it's because I got braces, which kind of sucks. Okay, it really sucks. Um, and my whole life I had perfectly straight teeth and apparently as you get older your teeth start to crowd and so at the bottom I just didn't like it. They were a little bit crooked and so I got braces and so it's kind of goofy because uh, I am too old to have braces I, or so I thought. So anyway, my teeth hurt and so I'm grouchy but then I got a package in the mail or two and so now I'm not as grouchy. Anyway, um, as you know, I went to San Diego to visit um, my family, and I knew that when I was down there, I wanted to go to Sephora and get more Smashbox primer. Um, but before I left, I armed myself with information about primers. Smashbox is 42 bucks, approximately. Um, and I thought, well, that's a lot of money. Um, and so I um, went online and I just went to Sephora.com and I took all of the ingredients from all of the different kinds of um, primers and ones that I would be interested in and then I wrote down or I typed up all the different ingredients and it seems sort of you know overly detailed to have to look at all of the different products um, ingredients but the reason why I did that was because I thought if I'm going to spend $42, what is it about this primer that I like? So um, first, I think my first consideration is always texture. Um, and so this actually is a really good deal. It's um, Laura Geller's um, Spackle. And this is a new package, um, or a new packaging. Obviously, this one's not new. But um, this one, I'll just show you the texture. It's a really light primer. Okay, so you squeeze it out and you can see as soon as I rub it in, it disappears right away. And some people prefer that. In fact, this is my mom's favorite primer um, and it's a, it's a good price. And I'll, I'll actually give a comparison ounce for ounce, um, but it does disappear right away. Um, this primer here, these two are by Smashbox. This one has SPF 15. This one does not. This is a backup bottle that I had for a while. This one, um, a couple of things. One, um, Sweet Eyes um, has a channel, a makeup channel, and she talked about the new packaging for the Smashbox primer. It's no longer in glass, and they also have different packaging so that this doesn't happen. I don't know if you can see this, but not all of the product comes out. Because of the consistency of Smashbox primer, um, you end up with a lot in the bottle. In fact, I had more than this before and I had to dig it out with a Q-tip um, because it just, it stops coming out. And so apparently they fixed, they remedied it um, by making a different container that um, has a different um, pump in it or something. Um, and I got this with a set from QVC. So, um, but I like this texture, and I'll show you what the texture is like. The texture in the Smashbox uh, Photo Finish Regular is the same texture as the one with SPF 15. So um, I'll show you the texture of this one. This is a, basically a brand new bottle. So I'll show you the texture of this one. Um, it comes right out. It's, it's warm here, um, so the texture is a little bit different depending on the temperature outside. But it's warm today, and I actually like it when it's a little bit warmer. It tends to... Um, make my primer a little bit easier to move around. Um, but you can see it disappears, but um, some people may not like the after effect, but I can still feel the primer, as opposed to this one, which kind of evaporates afterwards. Um, in terms of texture, I prefer this one, um, just because I want it to be thicker. My skin is kind of dry, and um, I just, I prefer this texture. Some people might not. So. Um, then when I was down south, um, I went into the um, CCO and they had this and I looked at it and the description, matte cream, um, I thought, well, what is it? It doesn't say primer on it, but it actually is a primer and you can see the texture of this one is very similar to Smashbox. And um, yeah, they're almost identical. Um, Although I think I like this one a little bit better. Um, but this one's almost identical to this one. So then, da, 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 I um, 
Faffy Nedex talked about this in one of her videos, and so it sort of sparked my curiosity because she had mentioned that it's basically the same ingredients. And then Chic Jade also did um, a video about this chafing gel. So when I was in San Diego, I went to the CVS to buy this and they didn't have it. So then I went to Amazon.com and they do have it and it's $18 and you get, you get three of them. So if you were my neighbor, I'd give you one <laughs> because I don't think I'm going to need all these, at least not for a while. Um, but so let's look at the texture of this one. Yeah, it comes out. It looks basically the same as these two, right? Although, let me put it on a different arm or hand. And this one feels, I have to say, this one feels the same as these two. This is a little bit greasier, though. But I actually tried it right when I got it out of the box, and the greasiness, tend, it does go away. It's not greasy, okay? It's not greasy at all. <laughs> it just feels greasy. But it actually it's this the greasy feeling goes away after a while so okay um i then looked at all the ingredients and so i just wanted to give you guys sort of an idea of, of what they're trying to charge us for something that's simply some sort of silicone base i am not a chemist nor am i a math major so forgive me but i'm going to give you um just some information on the ingredients and then also the prices ounce for ounce. Laura Mercier, all of this information is on Sephora.com, um, but Laura Mercier's primer is 1.75 ounces for 30 bucks, which means it's $17 an ounce. The first ingredient is water. Okay, so it's probably going to be thinner just like this one. Smashbox primer, which are these, and I think this one's a little bit more by only a couple dollars, but it's 0.93 ounces. You don't even get a full ounce with Smashbox. The first ingredient is cyclomethicone. The second one is dimethicone cross polymer. And by the way, cyclomethicone and dimethicone cross polymer is the first ingredient in all of these. So you know what that means. They're the same. Right, it's just the stuff that goes around it that's different. So Smashbox is $42 for less than an ounce, which means a full ounce is $45. That's not right, that's just not right. Bare Essentials Prime Time is one ounce for $21, so obviously it's $21 an ounce. Its first ingredient is cyclopentacylosane. The second ingredient is dimethicone cross polymer. So it could be that it's similar to these, but a little bit lighter. And some of you love it, and that's great. Tarte Clean Slate was actually the first primer I used, and I loved it, and it reminded me a lot of this one. That one, its first ingredient is also cyclopentasiloxane, and the second ingredient is dimethicone cross polymer. So, um, and it did have the same texture as this one. That's 1.16 ounces for $27, so that's $23 an ounce. Laura Geller Spackle, you get two ounces for $21. It's only 10 bucks an ounce. It's a pretty good deal. However, the first ingredient is water. The second ingredient is glycerol polymethacrylate. The third ingredient is dimethicone. The fifth ingredient is cyclomethicone. So again, this is a good primer. It's just with water as its first ingredient, it's just not as thick as I would like it to be. Sephora did something kind of tricky, in my opinion. Their, their, their primer is only 18 bucks, but when you look at the ounces, you get 0 0.5 ounces, that's half an ounce. Guess how much Sephora is then for a full ounce, if they sold it, is $36 an ounce. The mat, this one, they still sell, I got this at the outlet. By the way, if you're at an outlet and you see this, buy it, because I got it for $11.75, but on Mac's website, it's actually $17.50 an ounce, which means it's $20 an ounce. Its first ingredient is dimethicone cross polymer. Finally, oh my goodness gracious, Monistat Soothing Care Chafing Relief Powder Gel, 1.5 ounces for $6.05. Guess how much this is per ounce? 25 cents an ounce. It's not fancy. It's got the word monistat in it. So yeah, people think it might be for something else. But for 25 cents an ounce, holy cow. And if you go to amazon.com, you have to get three. You can't just buy one. So for me, I think it's nice that Laura Geller isn't trying to rip off people by selling this stuff. So hers is a really good buy. Um, also, Laura Mercier's is a better buy at $17 an ounce. Um, Laura Geller's is only $10 an ounce. Um, 
and even Matt, Max, well no, Max is $20 an ounce. So for me, your best bets are either this one or this one. <laughs> um, and if you actually get to a CCO and you're able to buy that one, then get it. But guess what? This is my very last bottle of Smashbox. And you know what? For $42 an ounce with it having the same ingredients and everything else is just some sort of binding agent, I think it is not a good thing that they're selling it at $42 an ounce. You're allowed to make a profit. But holy cow, this is really, really expensive. It's not even a full ounce for $42. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. I hope I didn't seem too nuts. And yeah, so I'm going to chop up little pieces of fruit now and try to throw it to the back of my mouth so I don't have to chew it because these braces are hurting me. <laughs> have a great day, everybody. Take care. Bye.